you have yeah. to say positive things. You right, tell right, yourself right. the things that you want to do versus saying, I can't do this or right. the way you're going to focus on can't. Right, right. So so what we learned from that is that, you know, and this is from just doing uh, entrepreneurial research, because I'm also like kind of into doing that, is that your subconscious mind, as crazy as it sounds, can't understand, don't do whatever. Mm. It only hears, do whatever, which is weird as we are like conscious beings. We're like, well, what do you mean it can't? For whatever reason, the science, I, you know, again, I'm not a scientist either, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm not a doctor, you know, it's like, right, so right. I can't, but, but what I'm saying is the subconscious mind doesn't hear the word don't, it just hears, do whatever. So if you say, don't miss your layups, like we talk about in the book, then all your subconscious mind here is miss your layups. Like for instance, if I tell you right now, don't think of pink elephants, Right. <laughs> the first thing you don't think of is pink yeah. elephants, right. right? I mean, we all do it, right? The minute I said, don't think of pink elephants, everyone had a picture of pink elephant in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what we have to understand is that we have to say to our subconscious mind, think of pink elephants, make your layups, um, swing the ball, uh, swing the bat, sorry, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. kick the ball. Because now we're telling the subconscious mind and having this big juggernaut work with us and help us achieve our goals, as opposed to, you know, don't do whatever. So that's sure, something that we sure. learned that really helped a lot. Yeah. So you mentioned remove the word don't, just mm. kind of the, some of the things, uh, the visualization piece. Mm. So, and that's something that, I mean, that's huge. That's like, huge. I literally, I was doing Hal Elrod, The Miracle Morning. Yes. At the age of like 40, before I even started nice. to think about visualizing. Now, of course, with surgery, I know that, you know, I'll study the technique and then mm -hmm. I'll sit up there. And, but I never really thought about it, just doing it on a day-to-day -day basis about mm -hmm. little things. So kind of touch on the power of visualization. Yes. I mean... It's the, as uh, Les Brown says, is the theater of your mind, you know, it's like, yeah. or maybe someone said it, but anyways, the theater of your mind is the most powerful thing that you can do. And, you know, kids are blessed because they have YouTube, they have, you know, Instagram, they even have, what, what's funny is video games. For instance, right. they have um, <laughs> baseball video games where you can create a character mm -hmm. that looks That's like so real. You. That's so real now. <laughs> And you can watch yourself as this character be successful in football, baseball, softball, basketball, whatever. And all those things are tools that we didn't have. You know, we, we had to go old school and, you know, lie down and turn on the <laughs> Kumbaya music and yeah. see the thing. But they have all these tools. And when you start to use them, it just changes everything because the body starts to duplicate the movements that it's seen, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's all these stories about, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, any basketball player, because he were in that basketball world talking about how I would watch Michael Jordan do whatever and then go out into the front yard and practice it. But right. we miss the part. We always focus on the go outside and practice it. But we always skip the part where he says, I would watch mm -hmm. Michael Jordan do it. And then I would go out and do it. So it's like, you know, going and watching these things is a huge advantage that they have. You know. Right. And that's the engraving technique that you mm -hmm. mentioned. Mimic the pros, don't mimic the Joes, right? Yes. So, <laughs> hey, so, yeah, yeah, yes hey I, I studied the book. I'm telling <laughs> you, you know, so I mean, now with YouTube and all the different platforms where everything literally is recorded, you know, I'm mm -hmm. sure pretty much every game, every time your son steps on the court, someone's recording. It doesn't even right. have to be you, but they have the ability to, number one, review their own tape but also go and review yes. the game tape of the person that they're, you know, trying to model their game after. So, yes. And for parents starting out, it removes all like, you know, the need for you to say, Hey, why did you, or don't whatever Just say, Hey, you know what, we're going to go back and just review. And I want to know what you think. I want to see what, what you think. And then you can um, help them get to the point to where they want to go. Because what I've also learned in that is that they've heard everything you said. And, right. you know, we like to say it over and over and over again, but they heard it the first time. <laughs> yeah. And what's funny is when we get quiet and we just watch the review of the tape, they will say what you were going to say. You don't have to say it, you know, and then it becomes their journey, which is way more valuable than anything we can do.